Welcome to one of the many ways we are celebrating being fully alive at 35. Once each month, we are going to hear from MCCPB people who became a part of our church at different times in our 35 year history. We are starting today from our very beginning and each month we will move forward in time by five years. Today's video guest is Charlie Fredrickson, who attended the very first gathering of MCCPB on November 20th, 1981. He is being interviewed by one of our newer congregants, Sarah Netherton. Take it away, Charlie and Sarah. Okay. All right, Charlie, so could you tell me about the first time that you went to MCC at the Palm Beaches, what it was like, and why you decided to keep coming? Well, actually, the first time I went to an MCC, it wasn't at MCC of the Palm Beaches. It was MCC in Philadelphia, way back in 1972. And I, I wound up going to MCC to fill a void in my life because my, my mom had always kept me very active in church, and I really felt the church experience was part of my life. And when our pastor began to uh, give very anti-gay sermons, I felt very uncomfortable and I kind of dropped out of church, very frankly. But I had moved to Philadelphia, and in 1972, I had been hearing about this particular church, and I went, and it really, really filled a void in my life that was there because of the way the church had been preaching against us. I actually attended the first service in MCC the Palm Beaches in November of 1981, and I was at, at the first service, actually, of MCC of the Palm Beaches. Uh, I was actually the music coordinator. For the long story how that happened, but uh, we had six people at our first service, and 14 at the second, 22 at the third, 28 at the fourth, and at that point we had outgrown the, the private home we were in, and we needed to begin to look for other worship space. And then our first year, we were at different worship locations, and. Uh, that's, that's the history. You know, we, we have been here now for about 35 years. 35 and fully alive. Wow. And what would you say some of the biggest changes and challenges have been that you've seen over the past 35 years at MCC? The biggest challenge in the early part of the time uh, that the church has been in existence was the AIDS crisis. We really were hit hard, very frankly. I lost personally so many friends. We lost board members, uh, many, many active people in the, in the congregation, and we responded to that by uh, helping to start Hope House of the Palm Beaches, which was a home for people with AIDS that were thrown out of their own parents' homes and, and, and so on. Uh, that became a par part of the community. We, we started it, but it was taken on by the community became a very active part of the, the, the maids ministry here. Uh, I think in the latter number of years of the church's uh, existence, we have moved into this building. And the building itself presents a challenge. It's a challenge in terms of upkeep, maintenance, all the work that needs to be done to, to keep it going. And the fact that we're outgrowing our building now, that's a big challenge that I see for us. Uh, how do we continue to minister effectively to our growing congregation in the kind of confined space that we find ourselves in right now. What do you hope to see going forward for MCC? That's really tough to say. I, uh, I think we'll wind up here for the foreseeable future, but I think uh, our main challenge now is to find ways to be relevant to uh, a wider congregation. Uh, there are so many uh, houses of worship now that are inclusive, that are welcoming to gay and lesbian people, transgender people. I think we need to broaden our, our experience and make sure that uh, we have a, a ministry that includes a lot more beyond our community. One reason I kept coming back, we mentioned that earlier, I forgot to answer that part of the question, is that um, you can actually become a part of the ministry here. Uh, it's not like we're here to receive all the time. Uh, I feel that uh, we each have something to give to the ministry of the church, and that has kept me coming back, uh, finding ways to kind of reinvent myself, find 
ways that God will use me now that God maybe didn't use me years ago, but we can all have a part in this ministry, which is truly amazing.